Let's get a jump start on that and welcome in one of the BYU football players right now to preview the blue and white scrimmage and also a loaded secondary, Roberts and Daniel. Welcome to BYU Sports Nation. Thanks for having me. Brooklyn Nets. You got a Brooklyn Nets hat. You love the Brooklyn Nets? <laughs> yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. Oh, nice. Yeah. Awesome. I've seen a Miami Heat hat on you before, though. I'm a LeBron fan. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Roberts and Daniel joining BYU Sports Nation with Spencer Linton and Jerem Jordan, very talented member of the BYU football secondary. Bronco Mendenhall at one point last year said that in terms of a guy that was able to adjust and, and move from boundary to corner and now potentially maybe to safety, you're, you're the guy that is the MVP in versatility. When your coach says that about you, how does that make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel pretty good. It just uh, shows that he has trust in me to play any position on the field. Do you have a preference over whether you play safety or corner as you kind of cross-train during spring at, at safety? Um, I don't really have a preference. I'll just play whatever. What are the differences? What's been the biggest change you noticed between playing cornerback and safety? Um, safety, you're you're in a lot of you're in a lot more plays. Corner, you're in like probably ten percent of plays in a game. So I mean, it's a lot harder to stay focused at corner. Whereas safety, I mean, everything you can right look in into the stands occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I mean, everything's going around. It's kind of like traffic, so you got to stay focused. Let's go back to the uh, what we just heard at the start of the segment, your interception against Washington. That uh, almost changed the game. Bronson Kafusi didn't help with his uh, helmet-to-helmet uh, penalty there. <laughs> I guess they didn't call that one. They called another one. But you make that pick and, and momentum switches. What did it mean to get that uh, interception against Washington? Oh, it meant a lot because we really needed that interception. Um, we were going through a drought both on offense and defense, and that was like a big play. It changed the game a lot. We just didn't execute. Robertson Daniel joining BYU Sports Nation, talented cornerback slash safety slash just defensive star. That's what we'll call you right now. Making a transition potentially from cornerback to safety. Has that been ultimately determined yet? Is, is that going to be an official move? Um, I'm, I don't think so. Um, the coaches hasn't told me anything about it right now. I'm just playing both. Daniel Sorensen left some big shoes to fill. Have you had a chance to talk to Daniel about the nuances of playing that position? And if so, what advice did he give you or somebody else that's going to fill in there? Yes, I've had a chance to talk to him. The advice he's given me is just patience. Because when you're playing cat, you need a lot of patience. Get your reads right. That's about it. So are you playing the cat or strong safety? Uh, or are you playing the free right now? I'm playing the cat. You're strong playing safety. the cat. Okay, so directly uh, replacing Daniel. What kind of responsibilities do you have specifically on the field? Um, run responsibilities, and I'm most of the time the burn player in the defense, meaning <clears throat> when we go single high, I'm the guy who comes down and maybe plays man on the um, slot or in the box. BYU has a lot of talent coming in. Uh, we, we've listed the names. Trenton Trammell, Jordan Johnson, both coming off injury. Dallin Levitt, Michael Shelton, Trevor Bateman, then the safeties, Bills, you, of course, Sky Povey, uh, Michael Wadsworth. When it's that competitive, why is that a good thing for this team? Because everyone gets better. And every day you have to compete. No one's um, position is final, so it makes us come out every day and treat it like a game. How has spring ball been so far? Because it's been really quiet in terms of news mm -hmm. that's come out of camp. Uh, but maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Yeah, it is a good thing. But uh, spring ball has been real edgy. It's been real competitive, hmm. you know. Offense won't give us any and we won't give them any. And I think that's good for the team. In what way has it been edgy? Um, with the fights and all, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's fighting in football? I heard Just about the, DeAndre Wesley and Craig Bills. <laughs> that's on, the only one I've heard of so far. No, there's been a lot going on, but um, it's just all competitive. Just the competitive nature of the players. So it's been good. And at the end of the day, and we've talked about this, uh, at the end of the day, there's one team. But in practice... There's, There's two teams. teams. Yes. Can you talk about the, that dynamic? Um, I, mean, I feel like that's the way it's got to be if you want to be a good football team. Um, I mean, when we're, off, when we're off the field, we're one team. Once we're on the field and it's practice mode, it's a Saturday. Every day is a game day, and that's the way we have to treat it. Robertson Daniel, BYU defensive specialist, cornerback slash safety, joining BYU Sports Nation. Rob, BYU is an interesting place, and uh, there are a lot of requirements that are asked of the football players. Why did you feel like you were a good fit for BYU? I just knew rules isn't hard to follow. you know. So I, I knew that wouldn't be a big problem, and I like the defense and the history of the defense. That's why I came here. Robertson Daniels on BYU Sports Nation. Every day we count down to Connecticut. 
the first game. 157 <laughs> days. We've been doing it for like 90 days. Um, as we look at the 2014 schedule, I guess uh, what are what's a game or two that sticks out to you that you're really excited to play? The first two. The first the two. First two. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Connecticut, maybe some, yes. some family will show up in that one? Well, that ends because it's the first game of the season. So we get to make a statement that this year we are for real and we plan on winning every game. And then obviously the second game because it's after the first. And it's at, it's at Texas. Yeah. You, you know they're up for blood, right? That's going to be awesome. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it. That I like the raw emotion. Robertson Daniel, Brooklyn Nets fan, LeBron James fan, also BYU football player on BYU Sports Nation. What does a team want to accomplish in a spring football scrimmage uh, like you're going to have on Saturday? Uh, I think we want to establish where we're at as a team and um, see what works, see what doesn't work. I think that's about it. And then kind of depth chart. How do you gauge progress uh, in, a, in a spring where it seems like this year more than others, you're going to have a lot of additions in the fall that will mm-hmm. really make up this team? Well, it's just going to show us how good we are. Because if we can show a solid team right now and we have more pieces coming in, that means we're going to be really good this year. We've thrown you softball so far. But the real question is when LeBron is playing the Nets – who do you cheer for? Yeah, that's all oh boy. <laughs> I'm cheering for LeBron. Oh, okay. wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> all right. You are a LeBron fan over the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah. Roberts and Daniel on BYU Sports Nation, uh, BYU defensive specialist. You had an interesting year last year. Uh, the defense was good again. Uh, you played a really tough schedule. What was the thing that this team learned the most from last year that will help you moving forward? Team unity. I felt like uh, last year we had um, individuals and um, – This year, I don't think we have individuals. I feel like our best players are – they're more team unity than anybody else. So, therefore, we are one. We don't have any individuals off to the side. Robertson Daniels on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, We've been talking about projected starters, and there's a lot that has to happen. But Trenton Trammell is a guy that appears that he's talented enough to start at cornerback. What can you tell us about Trenton Trammell? Trenton is real confident. He has really good feet, and he's a really good corner, especially for coming off um, his ACL injury. I mean, he's showing things that usually guys coming off injury can't do. Um, I think he's going to be a great corner for us this year. And then Jordan Johnson is coming back from injury. He's not in spring. But those two look like two solid corners. If you played cornerback last year, you could be in one of those spots or play safety. And then the question is, okay, you have Craig Bills. You know what you're going to get from Craig, Mm -hmm. uh, which is good stuff. You're being cross-trained at safety. And then there's other guys. Who are some of these other guys that are sticking out at uh, not only cornerback but safety? Um, I'll definitely say Drew Riley and Wadsworth are sticking mm-hmm. out a lot, and Sky Povey, obviously. Um, as for our secondary, we have guys like Jurgens, which is a walk-on. He's been, is it Mitchell? Yeah. Um, he's been playing outstanding. I mean, he's really making a name for himself. Um, Jordan Prater, Dallin Levitt, they're all improving a lot. There's a lot of guys. This is a good problem, right? Yeah, yeah this to is have a that minute. problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. If you can't tell, Robertson Daniel is a man of style, and I know that there are some competitions <laughs> on the football team, perhaps among the athletes. Who has the best style of any defender on the BYU football team? Me. Okay? Of course, I was yeah. expecting you yeah. to say that. Why do you vote for you? Because who wouldn't vote for themselves? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great stuff. Robertson Daniel, the BYU uh, cornerback. And now being cross-trained as a safety, you moved from uh, field to boundary last year, and, and or sorry, boundary to field corner, and that was like a last-minute change. Uh, how does somebody get ready for that and, and make that transition without, frankly, kind of freaking out? I have no idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> I kind of just went into it with confidence and just had faith in my, my ability. And that's how I was able to do it. Because at first, it was a little hectic. I didn't know what I was doing out there, but I just stayed faithful. How I think the, you faked yeah. it well. Huh? <laughs> if, yeah, if, no. if, you didn't th- if you didn't feel like you knew what you were doing, you looked like you yeah, knew you what you were like doing. Yeah, you looked like you knew what you were doing. Yeah. That's how what it's that, supposed to look like. Uh-huh. <laughs> how did that conversation take place? Like, what, what coaches were you talking to when you found out that was going to happen? I wouldn't even say it was a conversation. It was more like, Jordan's down, you're at field. 
Okay. Yes. <laughs> and, that, and that was a respectful move be, because it was, okay, look, you don't play this position, but you're talented enough that, to make that switch. Yeah. Did you feel that way? Yeah, that's how I felt. Absolutely. Rob, our Twitter question today is, what is the biggest win of any BYU team across any sport this academic year? So from August until yesterday, what's the biggest win that any BYU team has had? Hmm. BYU versus, I mean, BYU football versus Texas. Okay. That's what a lot of people are saying on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, and we've talked about women's hoops going to the Sweet 16, women's volleyball going to the Sweet 16, basketball beating Gonzaga. But Texas, why Texas in football? I mean, it's a big win as for media and the fans, but for us it isn't a big win because we thought we were going to win. So, therefore, it can't be that big. But Texas because people weren't expecting us to win. We were the underdogs, and we came in there and we – Practically showed them that we're no team to play with. When did you know that that was going to be a rout? <laughs> when we walked onto the field. Wow. Right then. Okay. I like this confidence, Rob. We need to get you on more. <laughs> we, need to, we need the swagger brought into the studio more often. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Keep it coming. <laughs> hey, we wish you the best of luck in the spring scrimmage and uh, stay healthy, stay positive. Before you go, we want you to sign our BYU Sports Nation Rise Up flag. Yeah. So if you wouldn't mind Anywhere. giving us your autograph. Mark Herbie down. Hancock. <laughs> you can follow uh, Rob Daniel on Twitter at the realist one ne. Is that right? Yep. He's the most realist. Yes, he that's is the, the most realist. That's what's going on. That's there. you speak fantastic English, Jerem. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn Nets fan, LeBron James fan, and BYU defensive star Robertson Daniel. We appreciate the time, man. We'll talk to you thank soon. You. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. 